All right, we got breaking news out of Major League Baseball on this, the final day of the winter meetings, and the Boston Red Sox make a move. Masutaku Yoshidu, he signing with the Red Sox, the Japanese outfielder, gets a five-year deal. It's worth $90 million. That's been confirmed by our Jim Bowden. The deal is the highest for a Japanese position player in Major League Baseball history. Yoshida is uh, comes by way of uh, the Nippon Professional League, where he was a two-time batting champ. Let's get some insight on this one. And uh, bring in a CBS MLB analyst David Sampson, the former World Series champ as president of the Marlins. David, tell us what kind of player the Red Sox are landing here. Well, he's going to go in and play immediately in left field, and he can hit somewhere either at the bottom of your lineup or the top of your lineup because he does not strike out. And what I love about him is he doesn't have your typical baseball body. He's sort of short, five foot eight, pretty stocky. But with the rule changes and with the true outcome that baseball has become where everybody is striking out, he's got power and he doesn't strike out. He's an average to above average defender, but the Red Sox needed outfielders. So this is a perfect signing, albeit an expensive one for the Red Sox. David, the Red Sox are said to be in dialogue with Xander Bogarts. Um, characterize what their postseason uh, has been with regards to player movement out and in. Well, they just today had a very busy day. They brought in Kenley Jansen for a two-year deal for $16 million a year. They signed Chris Martin. They're trying to redo their bullpen, but they also need to take care of their offense a little bit and still their starting pitching. And Chaim Bloom has a tough job because the Red Sox tend to win the World Series, then they go down to the bottom of the division, then back up, back down. So he's got some pressure to go back up because they finished, I believe, in last place last year. So when you look at the additions they're making, it's not the splashiest of additions, but they're really good pieces of a team. And this is why Bloom was hired into Boston. You don't need to be a genius to sign Trey Turner for $300 million. You need to find players who maybe are under the radar, who maybe not are looked at by every other team as absolute guarantees. That's how you show that you're better than other front offices, and that's what Bloom's trying to do this offseason. Uh, Bloom shells out $90 million for a two-time batting champ in Japan. As you mentioned, he has his closer as well, looking to lock up his longtime shortstop. He's David Sampson. CBS MLB Insider. David, we appreciate the insight. If you want more, David, that's where you go. Nothing personal with David Sampson. His podcast covers a breadth of baseball stories and goes beyond the diamond. Download and subscribe today. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.